सिंस वी हैव सीन हाउ पार्टीशन एल्गोरिथम विल फिक्स द पोजिशन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर एलिमेंट राइट नाउ वील सी हाउ वी कॉल इट इन क्विक शॉट राइट मीन्स वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ क्विक शॉट एल्गोरिथम सो द फंक्शन ऑफ पार्टीशन एल्गोरिथम वॉज हाउ टू फिक्स द पोजिशन ऑफ प्योर एलिमेंट एंड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड विल बी स्मॉलर दैन दैट एंड राइट साइड विल बी ग्रेटर दैन दैट इन एनी ऑर्डर राइट सो आई वॉन्ट टू मैंशन हेयर इज सिंस हेयर ओनली वन लूप इज रिक्वायर्ड सो टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ पार्टीशन एलगोरिथम इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एंड राइट इट विल टेक इट विल ट्रेवल्स टू द एरे एंड फिक्स द पोजिशन ऑफ वन एलिमेंट राइट सो नाउ मूविंग फर्दर लेट्स मूव फर्दर एंड check how quick sort is being implemented quick sort so i will name it as i will name it as quick sort right function name is at quick sort a is name of array p is starting element means starting index q is last index so first i will check the termination condition if p is equal to q means only one element is there then no need to sort that array then return a of p means if only one element is there then return that all only there is no need to move further right then we'll go to else part which is very important first get the index of pivot element in else part get the index of pivot element by calling partition partition on full array right so what partition algorithm returns actually it returns index right in this case also it might it might have return 0 1 2 3 3 as the index right it will fix this element 50 position as at third position right so get that index of element right pivot element and then again what you have to do since it is recursive quick sort the when element position has fixed then from a p till m right means till m minus 1 m position is fixed so till m minus 1 right means apply quick sort before m and apply quick sort after m right simply we have to do this in else part right and then after doing it what you have to do you have to return the array right so return partition array so just return return sorted array so what it has what internally it is doing it is calling quick sort on the full array then with partition algorithm every element every pivot element first element position is being fixed fixed then on the left side if you can see here on the left side apply quick sort right and then on the right side apply quick sort and keep on doing it recursively and at the end return that array right you will get a sorted array actually so this is the quick sort algorithm right now what we are interested in what is the time complexity actually so say if quick sort is having tn as time complexity so that will be order of 1 right if p equal to q means only one element is there so i will write n equal to 1 only one element is there right otherwise it will take time as see this thing will take time as order of n as we have seen this will this thing will take time as t of this say we have divided 
a full array till m right and this is starting element p this is q so this left side will be t of p minus m p minus m and right side will be t of q minus m right the time taken by this side and this side so that is what we are writing n partition algorithm t of p minus m plus t of q minus m i will refine it if n is greater than 1 right so this is the time complexity actually for quick sort right so now we will see how the time complexity is being calculated so as we have seen in last class also so recurrence relation will come as something like this if we are applying quick sort algorithm right so it depends basically on pivot element right left side of pivot and right side of pivot right so time complexity we can write something like this means time taken for partition algorithm the left side and right side so this thing with the with this thing in mind we arrive at two cases right that will be best case and worst case right so best case to get the time complexity will be when partition algorithm is exactly in the middle right when you have partitioned this and this is exactly in the middle mean if whole array has taken t of n time to get sorted so left side in the middle it might have taken t of n by 2 and right side also t of n by 2 means these two things will become t of n by 2 and t of n by 2 right so this value will become n plus t of n by 2 plus t of n by 2 right so this is n plus 2 times t of n by 2 right so this recurrence relation i have solved already in the lecture or in previous videos also right so <coughs> this will become means if anybody is aware of master method also then is quickly we will check it is like n log a is to b that is 2 is to 2 and fn is n only right if you are not aware also then you can solve it in recurrence wise if you want you can comment i will solve it here also but i am just using master method to solve so when two values are same then what we will take we take n times log n is to power zero in here because it is one so formula wise it is n times log n is to power k to match the values right this is third case of master method and then output will be n leg log 0 plus 1 or the output will be n times log n k plus 1 right third case so n log n will be the time complexity if you solve it by master method right you can solve it by recursive uh, means substitution method also right so i am just writing it down because i have solved it previously so i am just writing it down so left side if you are solving it will take time complexity of order of n log n right this is the time complexity in best case of quick sort right and best case and average case actually right and say worst case will be when divide, divide when you are dividing that is not balanced means your partition means partition algorithm first pivot element is going either this side or this side right coming on one of the sides so how we can write it n plus one side is having no element and other side is having rest of the element this is how we write it right so this also as i have told you can solve it by substitution method so while solving this will come something like this i have solved it in previous video al already so time complexity will come as order of n square so important thing is worst case of quick sort will give you time complexity f as order of n square best case 
and usually average case will give you order of n log n. So this is about time complexity of quicksort.